Hey everybody, welcome back to Mighty Modern. Uh, so this is what I'm calling the bonus match here, uh, because we actually won game one and I did this really intelligent thing where I forgot to click record, so I was just talking to my computer, and you know, you feel silly talking to your computer most of the time when you're recording videos, because it's like, hey, I'm just sitting in a room by myself talking to a little camera that's like lighting up at me like it's, um, you know, whatever that movie is, uh, Space Odyssey, right? Anyways. Uh, it basically feels like that most of the time anyways. And then you look and see that you didn't record. 2001 A Space Odyssey is the name of the movie. But then you look over and see that you didn't record and you really were just talking to yourself. It feels, you feel kind of dumb. I won't lie. It feels kind of bad. Um, but it's it's an interesting matchup. We just crushed our opponent. We played two Eidolons. We were on the plays playing ad nauseum. It wasn't even particularly close. Uh, he scooped on turn three. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that's what you missed. Essentially not much. But I wanted to play game, show you game two here because we have this Reign of Gore in hand. Uh, we have Smash the Smithereens. I think it's an interesting matchup. I don't know exactly how it typically plays out. I know uh, for Icing on Life is pretty good against us. So we'll see. Uh, we have this double Vexing Devil start. Um, so the real question, and our opponent's damaging himself with City of Brass. So there's one Lotus Bloom suspended. So we'll see how things go here. We'll actually have the Smash the Smithereens for it, which will be nice. Here comes Pintad Prism. Okay. Maybe I should just kill the Pintad Prism. Um, maybe. Alright, let's, uh... Let's play this Vexing Devil that he's gonna take four off of. So, it's it was tempting to smash this, uh, but I don't think it's good because he's not gonna try to go off until the turn he has this, which is two turns from now. So we can play Vexing Devil and Lava Spike or Bump the Knight or whatever this turn. Um, and then next turn, hopefully, we can smash the Smithereens, the Pintad Prism in our main phase uh, before our opponent can uh, kill us. Because they can't kill us in their upkeep, so waiting to smash the Lotus Womb doesn't necessarily work. Um, now, it's also possible that our opponent might take one more damage off of this and we'll just have lethal. So that's, that's a thing, too. Oh, he just had nothing. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good for us. All right, we will smash this. This will significantly limit his mana next turn, which should be enough to get there. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that is not necessarily good for us. Um, may as well hold up the lightning bolt in case it's a lab maniac. That doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, so... Go ahead and spike him. All right, so he's either killing us in his upkeep. I guess that would have been a reason to kill the Pintad Prism last turn. Problem for our opponent is he has to have... He's going to have seven mana. Yeah, that's enough to Angel's Grace at nauseum. He could have us. Of course, he might just have the Angel's Grace to not die as well. Because it's not a guarantee that he also has the ad nauseum here. Well, okay, turns out he does. All right, we died. Fair enough. We got our opponent down to two. All right, we'll give it another shot here. Reign of Gore, not not worth, I think. Um, honestly, the Searing Blaze isn't... It's all bad, too. And the Claim to Fame isn't exactly good, either. Maybe it's just Skullcrack. Hey, we're just literally trying to race. We're not trying to interact. And I just play Skullcracks, because they're going to do more damage than these Claim to Fames will. Maybe. Claim to Fame on turn four on a Marauder is good and probably represents more damage than a rando skull crack sure why not we'll leave one in that's why we made this why we're playing the deck we may as well play them right uh okay well like i said uh, i'm gonna keep this it's not exciting and it may not be good but this actually represents quite a bit of damage these two cards because the claim to fame on a marauders is seven damage in itself well, if, if it gets that far. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's real bad. Okay. Well, turns out our list is pretty weak to Ley Line of Sanctity because we don't have Destructive Revelry. So that's a lesson learned. I mean, not, nothing we can do about it. Hope to draw creatures. That's what our plan is. 
Yuck. And he's got the Lotus Bloom suspended on turn one. Okay, well, I think that we are not going to win. So, that's a thing. <laughs> the best part is I have to do it to myself. Oh, jeez. We'll give it a shot. It would be a lot better if we had some creatures. Maybe our opponent just won't do anything. We'll kill him with the Kelda Marauders. That deals us four damage. All right, there we go. Opponent doing himself some damage. I like it. Gonna need to draw some creatures here, though. Preferably a Monastery Swift Spear. Man, Turp 2 Eidolon would have been nice, too. I don't think our hand was terrible, but it sure wasn't good against the turn zero ley line. Ooh, we drew a land. Okay. Okay, well, I can't play any of those cards, so I guess we'll just attack. Got our opponent to 16. We're doing it. Okay, well. I mean, we crushed game one, as I suspect you usually would in this matchup. Um, I don't know. It's not unwinnable. This particular game didn't work out. Maybe I should have smashed the smithereens at Pintat Prism on turn two. I don't even know if he needed that mana, though. Because we would have been a turn slower killing him. All he needed was one more land drop to just kill us anyways. He only had to get to six, and he had five in play. So, I mean, maybe it would have been better. He also had to have basically everything. Oh, gosh, he has a fun life. Okay. Rip. Wish I had more claim to fames in the deck now. All right, there's a Swift Spear. Oh, you know what? Swift Spear is actually pretty good here. Oh, I don't want a Lava Spike. I want a Fetch. I don't think we're going to win, but, you know, it's not impossible that our opponent has nothing. This would be so much better if we could at least ping him with our Marauders rather than doing damage to ourselves with it. That was a big turn. That was sweet. I mean, we'll see if we're dead or not. Our opponent had to have very, very, very specific cards in game two to kill us. Um, we very nearly got there in that game. Game one, we killed him on, on turn four. Uh, he scooped on turn three when we, we were on the play. But um, he had to have really specific cards to actually get, win game two. Oh, sweet, a land. Just what I wanted. All right, we'll get in for four here. Actually, oh, crud. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. I couldn't do more than six here, so there's no... I was going to say, I could Lava Spike and Bolt myself and get in for two more, but putting him to one doesn't matter. Our opponent still has to find Ad Nauseam, and I don't know. Sometimes the deck just plays, draws 30 cards and doesn't find Ad Nauseam. It's not unheard of. It's extremely unlikely, but it's not unheard of. Now, the problem for us is that, uh, oh my gosh, we need to draw, we need to draw another creature here. I'm doing so much damage to ourselves. Creature, please. Oh, we did it. Okay. It's a lot of land. I also flooded out. All things considered, things just did not go well here. Slide of hand. Okay. Well, we'll put him to zero. Oh, what is this? Oh, Angel's Grace. Okay. That's, I mean, that is what it is. Means we can only put him to one, which means his unlock buys him yet another turn. Okay, well, he's got one card in hand, which is slide of hand, and one we don't know about. Maybe he just won't find it. It's not impossible. Very, very unlikely, but not impossible. He's apparently still not there. He gets so, so much life, though, out of this on life. Because we have to put them... It's not like they go 2-0 and immediately start gaining um, infect counters. Our, our one attack, no matter how much damage it is, puts them to zero. Any damage after that gives them infect counters. 
which means we have to deal a lot of damage with these creatures. Nice lightning bolt, nice lightning bolt. And every Angel's Grace he finds, like that, buys him another turn. Oh, he didn't have it. He revealed it. Oh, off of our Goblin Guide. Okay, that's fine. You know what? That, that Angel's Grace doesn't prevent damage, does it? It just says your life. Sure, that doesn't matter either. Reduces it to one instead. So now he's going to start gaining poison. We're going to flood out so, so hard. All right, well. feel like we're getting teased here. Seek Rump Ghost. Oh, he finally got value. All right. Well, we've got him at three poison. He could... He could also have Solemnity for the lockout, the Phyrexian on life Solemnity combo. You can't see up here. It doesn't really matter. There's a Lotus Bloom and another on life. Everything you need to see, you can see. So if I draw a Swift Spear, I can kill him? Because I could deal... I could. If I draw a Swift Spear, I could kill him. If I draw a Goblin Guide, I cannot. But Swift Spear, I can kill him. Eidolon is a magic card. Uh, I wonder if I should. So we're going to do three, put him to six. So we have a chance. So can I put him to... Can I put him to eight here? Do five? I can. I can bolt, bolt, spike myself, get three prowess triggers, attack for six, put him at nine. Oh, that's so close. Man. So what if I just, I spike, bolt myself. Then we get attack for one, two, three, four, five, put him at eight, then play Eidolon, uh, which means this would kill him when he casts a spell. Okay. That's what we're going to do. I sure don't think it's going to matter, but you know what? We're going to try. Because the card he needs is Phyrexian Unlife, or uh, Ad Nauseam, which won't even trigger the Eidolon. <laughs> I'm bolting myself. What is happening? What is magic? Okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. Pintad Prism, that doesn't kill us. Oh my gosh, is it eight poison? Okay. Okay, here's the Eidolon. We're doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. He can't do it. He can't kill us because he can't kill us. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> what was that game? I'm so glad. I'm sorry I only got you guys the second and the third game. But oh my god, that was so worth it. I'm so glad I, I actually hit record the, at the end of it. Because that I, I did not want to miss that. We we lightning bolted and lava spiked ourselves uh, to give lethal. And the beauty of it is we could have done it again. Because the lightning bolt and the Eidolon trigger would have only put us to one. We could have got another prowess trigger out of that if we needed it. I don't really know what just happened, but that was a pretty crazy game. I almost scooped. That's how dead I felt. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> this is Mighty Modern. I'm Corbin Hostler. Thanks for watching, everybody.